How does it feel when somebody provides a CI CD pipeline for free so that you can play around with it? Let's see how we can use Bitbucket pipelines to create our own continuous integration and continuous delivery pipeline for free. Let's get started. In my previous video, you would have seen that I created a Bitbucket account and I was mentioning that there are free pipelines in the Bitbucket. So in this particular video, we are going to see how we can create pipelines inside Bitbucket. Okay, we are going to create a project. So we I already have a sample project in IntelliJ. I'm just going to push that project into Bit, Bitbucket and I'm going to show you how to create a pipeline from Bitbucket and this Bitbucket pipelines run on the Docker engine. Right. So let's see what are these Bitbucket pipelines. So I had created a sample project few minutes ago, few minutes ago. Yeah, I was testing the pipeline. So I'll tell you what a pipeline is, right? So Bitbucket pipelines are nothing but continuous integration and continuous delivery um, software. Okay, or the um, what do you call the pipeline, the build basically. So it is similar to Jenkins. Okay, but it is on the cloud and it is for free. So if we are using a Bitbucket project inside uh, bitbucket.org and if you have a project created and if you have a repository, you can enable Bitbucket pipelines on the fly. And whenever you push a code to this particular repository, if you had a pipeline enabled, your build gets triggered. Okay, so we are going to see that how um, this is going to work. But uh, just know that Bitbucket pipelines are similar to Jenkins pipeline. So if you had seen my videos on Jenkins pipeline, those Jenkins pipelines are written in Groovy and there is a Groovy DSL inside the Jenkins host itself. But Bitbucket pipelines are something different. So in the Bitbucket pipelines, you can use Docker images. So you will have a YAML file where you will mention the Docker image which you want to use as a part of your pipeline. And there are some YAML formats which you will have to use for um, using the Bitbucket pipeline. Okay, so in this particular example, we are going to see uh, how we can push our code from your local uh, machine onto Bitbucket and use Bitbucket pipeline to build it. So that is what we are going to see here. So I have a project um, here, uh, which I uh, used for the, uh, I think, writing test cases. So I had some tests here, right? Yeah, I think I was showing uh, how to write integration tests, right? So those are the tests here. And uh, what this project has is a simple resource, right? So there is just a resource which uses the user repository. There is a H2 database. There are some data inside that and we are just querying that particular resource. That's it. Nothing else. Okay. This is a small uh, Spring JPA Hibernate application. So it uses Spring MVC. Okay. What we are going to do is we are going to push this onto the uh, new repository which we are going to create in Bitbucket and see how the pipelines can be enabled. So I don't have anything else apart from the readme.md um, in this particular project. The readme uh, says, <coughs> sorry, the readme says sample project for testing Bitbucket pipeline. That's it. Okay. So I'm going to create a new repository. So let me go to the um, home, right? So this is the home. So this is the, whenever you create a, um, a project inside Bitbucket and when you log in, you will see this page. So right now I have two repositories here. I'm going to create a new repository. I'll just say create and then I can click on the repository option. So you can create private repositories or um, public repository. I'm going to create a public repository so that you guys can also take a look at the example. So I'm just going to name it as a spring JPA pipeline example. Okay. And the repository which I'm using is Git. I don't have Mercurial. So I'm going to use Git. So I'm just going to say create repository. So this is going to create a completely new repository. You can create whatever you want in this particular project. Okay, that is what you can do. You can create files. You can integrate this with um, any other existing uh, projects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the commands to integrate my project, which is there in the local into this particular repository. So Bitbucket by default provides some commands here. So if you see here, if you are starting off from the scratch, you can use these commands. If you are uh, having an existing project and you want to integrate and push that project onto the Bitbucket repository, you can follow this process. So I'm just going to add the remote URL for this particular project. So this particular project is already on Git. So 
yeah this particular project is already on git so what i'm going to do is i'm going to paste this option what this does is this is going to add my remote repository to this particular option okay since i already had a remote repository it is saying that okay remote rep origin exists so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to update my um, origin to new repository so i'm going to say set url okay this is going to add the new repository to my origin okay so my local repository which is git is now pointing to the um, remote repository which is the bitbucket server okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to commit these files i i think i already committed them just let me check if i have anything to commit so i'm just giving some comment um, saying sample project this will do a commit yeah i think one file has got changed so i'm going to push this to the remote repository so the command is git push uh, origin master i'm going to push my master branch to the origin so origin is nothing but the new repository which we created right yeah the push is successful a new branch got created in the remote repository so let's go and quickly check um, if our code is showing up here so i'm just refreshing this repository yeah if you notice here this is what we had right in our readme.md so it is showing sample project and all our commits are here right if you go to source option you can see the files there yeah all my files are here right so if i just go and see if uh, this is the same project yep this is my project which got committed now okay so we have created a um, remote repository we have pushed our code from local to remote now how do we enable bitbucket pipeline right so if you go to this pipeline option in the left side this takes you to a page where it says how you can enable the bitbucket project um, for example by default uh, bitbucket provides a template so i'm going to use the template itself so you can choose whatever language you are using so if you are using a php project you can push the php project or javascript or python or docker project anything you can push it so in my case i'm going to use a maven project because i'm using maven um, so this is the maven template right so what i need to do is i need to create a file called bitbucket plugin pipelines.yaml and then i need to have this as a template so let's see what happens right so what i'm going to do i'm going to create it from my local itself i'm going to show you how you can push it So let me make sure if the repository in sync is in sync so i'll just do a get repository pool to sync my origin with this okay yeah the pull is successful now let me create a new file so the file name should be bitbucket hyphen pipelines dot yaml right so let me check once again bitbucket hyphen pipelines dot yaml right yeah i need to add this to gif so the content of this particular file should be the template so if you notice this template this is what bitbucket pipeline will be using okay so the default uh, image which i am providing here is the maven because uh, this is a maven project and if you notice here there are some comments here okay you can specify a custom docker image from docker hub as you build as your build environment so if you have a different uh, build type right gradle or something else you can provide that as an image here okay so that the bitbucket pipeline when it runs on the docker image it will use that particular image so in my case i'm going to use a maven image so i am just saying maven version as 339 so pipelines is the uh, yaml notation so default um, there is only one step so this is the default step i'm providing i'm just saying maven is my um, uh, default step uh, the step is called maven and what is the script i need to run as a part of that step right so the script i'm going to run for now is maven verify uh, let's run this first and then uh, we can modify this to maven clean install uh, just to show whether bitbucket is uh, triggering automatically after every commit right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say uh, the commit as add bitbucket pipeline and i'm going to do a commit and push so this should automatically push to my remote repository which is there in bitbucket So this is getting pushed. Uh, let's see if the push is successful. Yeah, the push is successful. Now I need to go to source. If I go to source, I should be able to see the new file which we pushed just few seconds ago. Yeah, if you see here, 
the bitbucket pipelines.yaml is available here and this got pushed 19 seconds ago so let's go to the overview page again right here it should show the pipeline status so if you see here there is something which is loading up here here it is saying no pipeline has run for the head of master because we did not enable the pipeline right so let me go to this pipeline option and enable the pipeline first so there is an option here which is called enable and if you notice here bitbucket by default identify that okay you have a yaml found so if you see here you have found uh, we have found an existing yaml file in your repository you can enable pipelines to start building edit and commit a new configuration so this is basically the configuration file which is required to run the bitbucket pipeline so i'm going to enable this if i click on the enable option right so this is going to enable a pipeline build so let's go to the pipeline build and see right and just show you in a different window so once i enabled it there should be a build which should be starting so if you notice here this is the build which has started right so if you see here uh, the master build is running and this is the build number one right let me go inside the build so this is similar to the jenkins build however this is running inside a docker image right so if i remove this or make it bigger you can see what it is doing so it is downloading all the maven dependencies and it is just uh, running the um, task called maven verify right so as a part of verifying it's just making sure all the dependencies are downloaded and the build is running there are some tests which are running as well so that is what is happening as a part of the build right and if you see here the build is successful so our build has run so if you see uh, these are the two steps which are there so the first step is the build setup which is doing a checkout of the code and then it is setting up what image it needs which is a maven image for us and the next step is doing a maven clean verify okay and if you notice here in the build log here it says the build number is successful so and there is only one step okay if i go to the project home you can see that particular status here yeah if i see here master has passed so what we did here is we did not even set up any jenkins we did not even set up any server we just had our local project we just created a repository inside bitbucket website and we just pushed our code from our local to the bitbucket server and enabled the pipeline once the pipeline got enabled we were able to get our master build run right now if i modify how will bitbucket know that right so i am going to what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this as clean install and i'm going to commit it once i commit it bitbucket automatically detects that there is a change and it will trigger the build so i'm going to say clean change verify to clean and install i'm just pushing it so once this push is successful you should be able to see that in bitbucket the build is automatically triggered i think uh, i need to pull the latest change so let me pull and then again i'll push it okay right the push is successful now there were two comments so the push is successful uh, let's see this page right so this page should now show that there is a new build which is which should be starting okay because we committed the um, file so if you notice here sorry if you notice here the master build is again running now automatically so i didn't even trigger anything it is automatically running so let's go to the build again this should run the same thing just that it should run the step called maven clean install if you notice here already the build is successful and you can see that it is successful if you want to rerun it you click on the rerun button this will trigger a new build okay if you see here pipeline number three has started it is pending for the next um, executor service so once it is uh, received a service see it is started now step one is starting and the next one should be maven clean install okay so this is how uh, they can configure a bitbucket pipeline okay so what we did in this particular example is we created a project 
locally and that project we pushed it onto Bitbucket repository using some git commands and we enable the Bitbucket pipeline and we saw how we can run the pipeline and how Bitbucket is identifying if there is any new commands. Okay. Uh, if you want any customizations, you can do that in the settings here. So there are lots of customization here. You can add your image, you can change your project name, you can add reviewers, you can invite new people. So this is exactly similar to the Bitbucket you have in the enterprise world. But just that this is, um, or it, this is for free. You can have any open source project. You can enable pipelines to it. You can just uh, use it as you want. Okay, I will I'll be start using this pipeline because it is very good. If you want to um, run some project and then upload it into um, into a Maven repo, you can use this. So I will be using this if I if you are using uh, any open source project or if you are contributing to open source community or if you have any open source um, idea, you can definitely go to Bitbucket because it is pretty good. You can leverage the pipelines because they are giving the build for free. Okay, so that is it. Mm. I think that's it so that's what i wanted to cover so hope you guys found this interesting so if you want me to make on any specific videos on bitpacket or um, the pipelines do let me know or if you have any other topic uh, do let me know as well i'll definitely try to do that um, that's it for this particular video hope you guys like the video if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it meet you again in the next video thank you very much